Okay, this is the day you've been waiting for. Sorry guys, just been really busy. Gonna build a single tube linear amplifier. And yes, it's gonna be for 27 megs because that's just the equipment I have on hand. And it's easy. If you wanna make it for another frequency, let me know. And I can give you the, uh, I'll have to do some testing, but I can come up with the proper uh, parameters, uh, component values for L1, C3, and C4. Driving is pretty straightforward. We're just going to use a, this is a grounded grid circuit, cathode drive. And we just, for 27 megs, a 17 microhenry choke works just fine for that. What this circuit is from, the complete circuit, is this one right here. It's a two tube, 6JM6, uh, similar to, I believe, the Chris 300M used this circuit. I think that it, they might have been 6JB6s. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I've seen one, so I'll have to look see exactly what that was. But uh, 6JM6 can be substituted. There's a lot of little tubes that can be plugged in here, and they'll work just as good. The tube I happen to have, and I'm going to use, it's a little more plate uh, dissipation. It's a 6JZ6, but if you happen to have a JM6, you, it'll go into the same socket. And our pins are going to be exactly the same. So what we're going to do is just going to follow the schematic. Pin 1 is grounded. Pin 5 is grounded. Pin 4 is grounded. And pin 3 is grounded. Pin 12 is filament. One side of the filament and it'll be grounded. So I'm just going to do that here now. Pin 12, there it is. And I've got no wire. <laughs> All right, where'd my wire go? There it is. Okay. Be easier if I take that tube out of there for a second here. Okay. Pin 12 is getting grounded. I'm using copper clad board. It's fiberglass core. If you don't have that, you could use aluminum or you, just, you could build this on a chassis. I'm going to build this on an open frame. Uh, just an open sided thing so it's easy to uh, get in and show the video everything. Nothing complicated. Just makes it simpler to build. Okay, it's pin 12. Now we're going for the next one. Pin 10. What we'll do is we go up through these amps. I'm starting out with a single tube so you can kind of get the hang of how it works and as we progress through these videos I will go to more 
and larger tubes because they get more complicated as we go along. Now this is the simplest one I could think of to get everybody started. The tube is pretty easily available on eBay. I checked just last week and these little tubes can be had for usually around uh, I think I've seen the cheapest one at five dollars but uh, they didn't say shipping so I didn't look at that one and I think I've seen one for twelve dollars free shipping so they're they're within reason okay now we have pin three four and five also get grounded so here's one pin one pin two pin three four and five there let's start with that one I'll show the uh, key and circuit in an up and coming video after we get this and this part of it it mounted on the chassis where the uh, plate <coughs> load and tune caps are for guess I didn't have to cut that off I should have left that get ahead of myself that's all right we'll get her I'm not crimping the wire around the pins of the socket so that I can unhook them later what I'm gonna do is show you a little trick circuit that they use to uh, add swing or modulation it kind of enhances it. There's a little circuit that uses a capacitor and resistor that goes in there. Uh, let's see. Three is the only other next one we want. So what I'll do is just I think we can get away with this. I should have used thinner wire. Okay. So, three, four, and five are grounded. Now the rest of them I can get at pretty easy. <clears throat> Let me finish soldering these. Okay, there's that one. And that one. Okay. Oh didn't quite flow good right there. All right, that time I got it. <clears throat> okay, here comes the chassis that this is going to go in. Load and tune caps right there. But I'm going to mount this tube on here. Just like so. Just solder it right on there. where I can tack it. <laughs> I 
like so. Just like welding, only a whole lot easier. And by the way, I don't worry about all the lead problems. I use nothing but lead solder. Absolutely. The other stuff just doesn't stick good. It's hard to work with. Good old fashioned Kester lead solder. It works great. that's that part of it in and there's how it'll sit in there just like so that's the first step I gotta find some parts and relays some wire and some other things that I'm gonna need uh, to hook up the rest of the tube I'll explain how this relay works and all that and get that hooked up and we'll do that in the next video thank you for watching if you would like a schematic I'm gonna say that and then I say where'd I where'd I just put it oh, if you like schematic and uh, or any more information I know where it's at. There it is. Send me an email. So I have somewhere to send the schematic to. They're in JPEG format. They're small. Most of them are only 100K or so. And uh, I'll shoot you out the schematics uh, for anything that I'm doing on these amps. I've got uh, schematics for a lot of different type of amplifiers. But uh, as I work through them, and you want your own schematic so you can work off of it your own time, uh, just send me an email, and I'll shoot one back to you. All right, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.